everyone welcome to edutap and welcome to the finance current affairs session in today's session we are going to discuss a very important rbi notification that is regarding the revision of the eligibility norms so the rbi the reserve bank of india has recently revised the eligibility norms for the internet banking services with transactional facility that is provided by the regional rural bank so that more customers can be provided in the rural areas more customers can be provided with the net banking services with the transactional facility so this seems a little confusing that what is this eligibility norm and what is this net banking services with transactional facility what is the other category of the net banking services that is provided by the regional rural banks so all this we are going to discuss in today's session the complete framework that what are the eligibility norms that has been changed what are the new eligibility norms all of this we are going to discuss in today's session so there is no confusion that is left in your minds but before starting with the session there is a big announcement from edutap that we have brought for you the comprehensive guide for rbi nabard and sebi here in through a single guidebook you can get all the answers of your common queries that is if you want to know about the examination what is the pattern of the exam what is the previous year cut off of the exam what is the syllabus for the exam all of these questions are answered through a single guidebook you will get definitive answers of your common queries even if you want to know about the preparation for the exam that what should be the sources for the preparation what should be the strategy for the preparation all those answers are provided through a single guidebook you do not have to visit different links you do not have to visit different websites your efforts your time will be saved through a single guidebook where you can get all your answers of the common queries and this is absolutely free of cost to save your time to save your efforts do download this book the link is given in the description box below so now i think you have got the information that you have to download you should download these guidebooks for the understanding of the examination this will boost the understanding of the examination that you have okay so now starting with the news article that is the rbi notification we can say the eligibility for rrbs offering the internet banking with the transactional facility have been revised so the eligibility criteria it is for the rrbs for the regional rural banks so especially it is for the rrbs and especially for the internet banking services with the transactional facility okay so we will understand all of this but before that highlighting that there is a need to promote digital banking in india's rural areas the rbi governor that is shaktikanta das said uh, in september uh, on september he said that the criteria of the rrbs offering the internet banking with a transactional facility to customers will be rationalized so what is the meaning of rationalized before the eligibility criteria the eligibility criteria they were quite tough they were quite stringent we can say and they were like so high of a level it were kept that there were not many regional rural banks that were able to provide the internet banking services with the transaction facility so the eligibility criteria were quite stringent and that's why the rbi thought the governor of the rbi said that we need to rationalize the eligibility criteria so that more regional rural banks are there that can provide the internet banking with the transaction sectional facility okay and so more customers in the rural areas can get the internet banking facility with the transactional facility okay so i hope you have understood that the eligibility criteria was very hard was very stringent and that's why there was a need to bring the revision in the eligibility criteria so that more customers in the rural areas can get internet banking services with transactional facility so here you can see that in november 1st 2022 the eligibility criteria for the offering of internet banking facility with the transactional facility to their customers this has been revised so the internet banking services with the transactional facility to their customers this has been revised the eligibility criteria for this has been revised and we will see this in the coming slide but when the internet banking like if you see before 2015 there was see the regional rural banks they have been made they have been created to provide the basic kind of banking and financial services to the rural india now the rrb is the scope of services uh, that they provide to the rural india they provide to the customers that was quite limited the services that they provide are quite limited and the functions the facilities like the internet banking this was not under the scope of the rrbs that like the internet banking was not significantly developed under the rrbs 
so until 2015 they were not allowed to provide the internet banking services because the internet banking services they the rrbs were not allowed to provide as the rrbs were only made to provide the basic kind of banking and financial services now in 2015 what was the thing that happened that the rbi is said that okay the, now the rrbs will also provide the internet banking facility to the customers so what change came in 2015 so i hope you remember that around 2014 a new government came and the government the government of india at that time announced that there will be digital india a program to transform india into the digital empowered and knowledge economy so the digital india idea came by the new government that we want to transform the economy into a digital economy into a digital india so in 2014 when the government changed there was a new idea of digital india there was a new idea of digital economy still there was like before that also there were work that was going on for the digital economy but after the new government there was like strong uh, kind of thing that came for the digital india there was a strong mission that came for the digital india so this was released by government of india and of course the digital india can be pushed by the reserve bank of india because there are the banks the banks are under the reserve bank of india under the regulation of the reserve bank of india so now when we want to create the digital india the urban areas already have they already use a lot of the uh, digital system but it was the rural india that was the focus and that's why the rbi took the step of asking the regional rural banks to provide the internet banking facility now you will say that there is upi also but at that time the upi was launched in 2016 if you remember okay so to push the digital india there was the method of internet banking at that time there was no upi that was present uh, by the government by the rbi this upi is under the national payments corporation of india that is under the rbi so this was launched in 2016 so by 2015 by 2014 there was no such thing as upi so internet banking was the sole uh, method we can say it was a very important method through which the rbi through which the government can push the digital india idea to the rural areas also and that's why i can say that this is Uh, the logic behind it that the rrbs were asked to provide the internet banking facility to the customers okay so now and this was with a view to enhance the customer service it has been decided to allow the rrbs to extend the facility of the internet banking to their customers also so now coming to the 2022 now what has happened that in exercise of the powers conferred by the section 35a of the banking regulation act 1949 it is to promote the spread of digital banking further to the customers in rural areas there are rrbs that are providing the internet banking service with the transactional facility with the transaction facility but see with the transaction facility means they are allowed to transact through the internet banking they are able to send the money to the other person with the internet banking but this there are many eligibility criteria that are involved with the rrbs so the rrbs are allowed to provide the internet banking with the transactional facility only if they fulfill the eligibility criteria now i have told you that the eligibility criteria was quite stringent and that's why the internet banking with transactional facility there was a need to revise the eligibility criteria if we want to spread the internet banking to more customers okay through the rrbs in rural india so what has happened that there were first of all now we have talked about that there is transactional facility the internet banking with transactional facility this is what the eligibility criteria is for and this is what the the Uh, revision is for okay the revision in the eligibility criteria is for so now there are two types of internet banking that is first is internet banking view only facility internet banking with transactional facility so the change that has come in the in the eligibility criteria it is regarding the internet banking with transactional facility so let's understand what are these two and why the eligibility criteria has come only the revision has come only for this uh, criteria okay so starting with the view only facility view only means you can understand that we only can see our accounts okay internet banking where we can only see our accounts we can see where the facilities is strictly for non transactional services for the view only for the view only the 
services has come that is you can only view the balance inquiry you can only uh, view the balance as well as the account statement you can download you can request for the supply of checkbooks etc but there is no fund transfer that is happening okay so it is internet banking view only means that it is non transactional you cannot transact when you are under the view only facility now when it comes to the internet banking with transaction means you can transact also you can do all the services that is provided here like the balance inquiry balance viewing the account the statements the account statement download you can do all of these things as well as you can also uh, do the transactions okay so reserve bank of india has allowed strong regional rural banks to launch online transactions through the internet banking and essential product in the new age banking so under the internet banking with transactional facilities you can get all the services that is only under the view only as well as you can also transact you can also transact the money you can also send the money to some other person to the other uh, account okay so you can understand that in the internet banking with transactional facility there is the facility of the transaction also the online first ba fund based transfer but here there is no transaction that is happening only view you can do so that's why there is more stringent uh, pressure that is on with the transaction because in the transactional facility there is more uh, facilities that are provided especially the transaction facilities are provided and that's why the norms uh, were the eligibility criteria was there for the transactional facility so here you can see that there are two kinds of uh, regional rural banks one is strong regional rural banks other is weak regional rural banks so the strong regional rural, rural banks provide the internet banking with transactional facility and the weak regional rural banks they provide the internet banking with view only with view only okay so here all rrbs that have implemented the cbs what is cbs the core banking solution is the networking of the branch so there are different branches that a bank has okay and i have the account in uh, uh dehradun uh, uh, bank branch okay now i'm living in some other state so from here from let's say rajasthan i want to take out the money but my account was in which uh, bank account in uttarakhand bank account in uttarakhand branch i had the account i had opened my account in the uttarakhand branch now i want i am living in rajasthan so i want to take out, out the money from the rajasthan bank branch so now how the rajasthan bank branch will know that i have the account with this particular bank or not so cbs is a core banking solution is the networking of the bank branches all the bank branches are joined through a centralized server so that all the information regarding the bank so sbi has different branches in different states okay in the rural areas also or in different states the sbi has branches so all of those branches are networked they are combined together through a centralized server so that the information regarding the account can go from one branch to other which allows the customers to manage their accounts and use various banking uh, facilities from any part of the world or any part of the country okay i hope you have understood that cbs is for connecting the branches of a bank it is like a centralized server that has been created so that all the information regarding the bank and the customers of the bank can be provided through a centralized server so cbs that now the strong regional now the transaction has to happen so from one account you are sending the money to the other account so the information regarding the person regarding the account that the, i have the account in the sbi or pnb or something so that information should be provided with the bank now with the with the branches so the all rrbs have to implement the cbs for the easy transfer of the money or easy information that has to be gathered and have also migrated to internet protocol version 6 so it is a higher protocol version so that easily the internet can run easily uh, the branches are able to get the information okay that what the customers want and fulfilling the following criteria so this is the criteria this is the eligibility criteria for providing the transaction facility that is uh, this is as per the 2015 so i am showing you the eligibility criteria that was there before okay so that we can see that what is the new criteria and we can compare the old with the new so this is the old one remember this is the old one okay so the eligibility criteria was that the crar that is the uh, capital adequacy ratio that this much capital you should have 
so that you can use the capital in the distress kind of situation. So CRAR of not less than 10%, net worth of rupees 100 crore and as of March 31st of the immediate preceding financial year, gross NPS less than 7% and the net NPS should not be more than 3%. The bank should have made a net profit in the immediate preceding financial year and overall should have made net profit at least in 3 out of preceding 4 financial years. So you can read all of this that there was the such stringent norms that 100 uh, crore net worth and the gross NPS should be less than 7%, net NPS not more than 3%. So these norms were very stringent at that time. And that's why there was a need for the eligibility criteria to be revised. So here you can see that this was needed. See, for all RRBs that are providing the view only, for them also the CBS is needed. For them also the CBS is needed because the information has to be provided. Okay, a centralized server, a server should be there and networking should be there. So the core banking services solution is also needed for the view only services to be provided as well as the internet protocol version 6 is also needed. So this is same for both for the view only and for the transactional but this extra eligibility norms were there when the regional rural bank want to provide the transactional uh, facility okay as well as there were common policy like they have to make the policy board approved policy should be there when they want to provide the internet banking of any kind as well as there should be the security that is present the security norms the security policy should be there so regarding the policies they have the common policies we can say okay that the norms regarding the policies is kind of common because the security has to be maintained by both weak regional ruler banks also and the strong regional ruler banks also because the information regarding the customers they are sending that here and there so the policies are kind of same for this weak and strong regional ruler banks just the eligibility norm is there for the strong regional ruler banks and in 2022 what has happened that the revised eligibility criteria to seek approval for providing internet banking with transactional facility by the RRBs to their customers are as under. So the eligibility criteria now we will see that what the revised eligibility criteria is as well as one thing that you need to remember is that here weak regional ruler banks do not need the prior approval of the RBI while for the transactional services the strong regional ruler banks need the prior, prior approval of the RBI okay so now coming here the revised eligibility criteria the full implementation of the CBS should have happened and the migration to IP uh, that is internet protocol version 6 should have happened compliance with minimum prescribed CRAR that is present that uh, the minimum CRAR has to be maintained as per the norms of the RBI that what is the current CRAR the RBI wants the banks to have net worth of rupees 50 crore so net worth of 100 crore was there now it has been reduced to 50 crore or, or more as on March 31st of the previous financial year so the eligibility norm has been revised it has been reduced you can see the net NPA before it was that net NPA should not be more than 3% now the net NPA the revision has been done that the net NPA of not more than 5% okay Net profit in the two immediately preceding financial years, no instance of default in the maintenance of the cash reserve ratio and the statutory liquidity ratio. Okay, satisfactory track records they should have, they should have a sound internal control system as well as the CISA qualified uh, independent or auditor. So it's like the auditor should be CISA qualified. Okay, so I hope you have understood the eligibility norms also. So this is the first question which I hope that you can easily answer and these were the people that were able to give the previous uh, question of the previous session. So it was Ayushman, Neel, Yash, Rishabh, Vardman, Neha, Sandeepti, Arpita, Kavita and Anand. So thank you very much everyone and like you can subscribe to the channel for getting the more videos regarding the examination and for the uh, preparation of your examination do join our telegram channel the pdf is given the pdf will be provided in this telegram channel okay so thank you very much if you have any query you can mail us here or you can contact us through this number thank you everyone